What's up, Scorpio? This is 1028 Awakenings, and I am back again with another motherfucking video. What's up, y'all? Okay, um, you're probably watching this in current time, so happy first day of the week to you, you know what I'm saying, or whenever the fuck you see this video. What's up, y'all? How y'all doing? Okay, so I just want to say I appreciate all the stories, the comments, the shares, the likes. I don't even tell y'all to like and y'all just be fucking with the bitch. You know what I'm saying? So I really, really appreciate it. <laughs> I really appreciate it. I know I'm supposed to say that, but I'd be like, look, I just need to tell y'all the message, you know? Also, thank you, everybody who has been following Blending Cultures, which is my daughter's page. You know, I really, really appreciate it. Also, everybody who's following Couture Love, which is my fashion company. I really appreciate the love. I appreciate how you guys are following me on 1028 Awakenings. There is a fake page out there um, acting like it's me. And, you know, a lot of YouTubers are like, damn, that shit fucked up. And I'm like, damn, somebody bootlegging me. This shit is awesome. You know, so I'm really I really feel like I have arrived. You know, you only cop a bootleg when you can't afford the real thing. You know what I'm saying? You know, you be like, man, don't nobody know that they real for Zachi. You know what I'm saying? But anyway, please, guys, don't get scammed out here. You know what I'm saying? I do not promote scamming and stuff like that. Um, but I would never really like send you a message and say, hey, you know, you want a reading because that shit is creepy. So, you know, just be real with yourself. Like, you know. Nobody shouldn't be messaging you, asking you that they had a dream about your grandma. Like, you're going to be like, bitch, how you know my grandma? Like, what the fuck? So just don't get bamboozled out here in these streets because it looked like somebody might be out here bamboozling people, okay? All right, y'all. So I kind of want to start the reading off with angel numbers. I'm not going to lie to you, but I need to see. All right, I need to see where the angel numbers are because they're not right to her. But anyway, y'all, you know, thanks for the like, shares, and subscribes, man. I really appreciate y'all. Also, you can follow me on um, YouTube, I mean, Instagram. Definitely do that, especially if you feel like my readings are a little high. You know what I'm saying? You just want to try to kid out just to see if I got some skills, you know, and I can respect that. You feel me? So just get on my lives because I do deals for 2828 on live and it's recorded so that you can really see that if, if I'm a... Um, a good fit for you okay because we are all assigned different readers tarot card readers uh angels and guides all this stuff you know that's why it's so many different people because people channel different people's guides okay so just understand that you could have a tarot card reading with me and you could have a tarot card reading with someone else and we both resonate with you okay all right so let's just jump into it scorpio what's going on for for today for my scorpios all right what's the energy between today monday and wednesday okay so somebody or you could be looking at a situation from a diplomatic point of view you might be like like, what the fuck okay so someone could be taking a step back trying to re-examine something like you know something could not be adding up you know so they're like hold on I really think I may have misjudged something here or someone may be feeling like mm, okay now also Scorpio someone could be feeling like they have a lot of talent you know they got a lot of energy and someone could be feeling like they solving a lot of problems in their life and they could be very intuitive and they could be having like you know some some serious achievements, okay, towards their life, you know what I'm saying, like some, somebody could have had a huge epiphany, like, you know what, I need to look at this from a different perspective, I need to go towards my goals a little harder, I need to hit, you know, I'm here and go hard in the paint, who the fuck you think, stankin' nigga, who the fuck you thinking, nigga, okay, that might not be the words, but that's what came in my head, okay, so somebody may want to go really hard in the paint, Scorpio, all right. They may be wanting to dig deep and find out the truth about something or Scorpio. This is you. You just want to go hard at your goals. OK, you just want to you just want to put your best foot forward. All right. And you feel like you're doing that. All right. So you could be saying two, two, two. Let's see what's going on in the kitchen. And I don't know what's cooking. All right. All right, so we got I am brilliant in reverse, which means somebody out here dumb as fuck. OK, so, you know. I am brilliant just means you've learned your lessons. You know what I'm saying? It's in reverse. Like you may have had to fall off your horse. You may have had got your heart broken. You may have had to fall out with a friend just to see this person was flugazy. But you're brilliant from this setback, Scorpio. Or this could be somebody dealing with you regardless. Take it as it resonates. But, you know, you learned lessons, okay? You were trying to be very logical when really you should have just followed your soul. You know what I'm saying? And because of that, it's been revealed to you. And you realize, you know... Things had to be, oh, yeah. Oh, damn. Okay, yeah. All right. So now somebody could be thinking about their independence or this is you, Scorpio. Okay. You had to look at something from a diplomatic point of view. 
and you realize looking at it from a 3D perspective was not serving you in some kind of way. So, you know, spirit is saying, you know, you had to learn a hard lesson or you had to learn a lesson in order for you to have an epiphany. Now you're thinking about your independence. You're thinking about how you bring a lot of quality. Like you could start something all on your own. You don't need a business partner. You don't need family, friends, support. You don't need nothing. Okay. Somebody is realizing they got the juice. Okay. And they're definitely realizing that on the 5D. Okay. Cause that's thought. Okay. So somebody realizing like they don't even have to be diplomatic they get they could do it whatever way they fucking want to because they the one that got the juice okay damn scorpio what's going on damn another reversal okay yeah okay so tactful in reverse so someone was not tactful okay someone literally just jumped to conclusion made a huge assumption you know when you when you when you're not tactful in reverse that mean you out here looking stupid as fuck, okay? You know what I'm saying? So you're not really looking at things from a higher perspective and you may have learned a huge lesson for this Scorpio or this could be somebody that you're dealing with, okay? Now somebody's thinking about like, fuck this shit. I could be independent. I could do all this shit on my own, like for real, all right? And spirit is saying, hell yeah, do that shit. Damn, another reversal. Okay, so this is somebody who may have closed off their heart space with 10 in reverse you know they was avoiding a big ending that had to come down Scorpio this could be you or someone else all right but you know whatever this person invested in it really drained them it took their imagination uh, away from them this person could have had a a very boring life you know things going day to day same routine you know what I'm saying because you have great leadership skills this person uh could have been a leader this person could have been a boss or empire or this is you Scorpio and what you did was, you know, you're a leader, you know, you're supposed to be in a leadership role, but you might have been around someone and you may have been in their shadows. Okay. And you may have felt like this person was the leader. Or you may have been given this person the energy. You could have been in a relationship doing this. You know, you the boss, you know, you the one who's smarter than the other person, but you trying to gas up the other person head, you know what I'm saying? To make them feel worthy, to make them feel a part of your life. You can't do shit like that, Scorpio. So it's okay if you have fell on your face, you know what I'm saying? Cause you're going to, you're going to realize you will learn a really good lesson, Scorpio. And you're going to be very independent off this lesson. And you see that. Okay. Now it says your mind is sharp and it allows you to dream up great things. So whoever you was fucking with, they was killing your dream, Scorpio, or this could be somebody that you was fucking with. Okay. And they was, they was a dream killer. Okay. They was stealing all your dreams. They was sucking all your energy. And you over here, maybe even trying to pump this person up, trying to give them like, Hey, you could do it too. Like you can make these things come true. You know, you trying to look at it in a diplomatic way, but spirit is saying, you know, this person wasn't ready for you to educate them in this kind of magnitude. Okay. But you wasn't listening. You like, ah, oh, I could change anybody. You know, I got to figure out another tactic okay but spirit said now nah, you putting way too much energy in this situation or scorpio this is, could be somebody dealing with you and now you got to be independent you got to think about how you're going to put your own ten of cups into your goddamn self okay um you just realize you know you got to put your energy in you scorpio i just got to keep it real here okay because he, these cards is saying like you was looking at something you wanted to help something or someone, you know what I'm saying? And you was ignoring a lot of signs and synchronicities that may even be coming to you just because you wanted to see the good in somebody. But you know, you can't you can't have faith in what you can't see. You know what I'm saying? This person not putting the same energy in as you. You got an 86 that shit because it's going to be real off balance. All right. All right, Scorpio, let's see what's going on. All right. So damn. Yeah, Scorpio. So you could be birthing in a new some of you guys could be pregnant in current time. You know what I'm saying? Some of you guys could be looking like, damn, you know, I can't just leave this person. I just had a baby with this person. I need to be diplomatic about the situation with the spirit saying that's not wise. You need to go with your heart. You need to be independent. Even if you are a single mom or a single father looking at this video, you can do this. OK, you may have invested in something thinking it was going to be your ten of cups, but you realize like it's not. You know what I'm saying? You want to be very tactful about a situation that allows you to drop that shit okay now also with this fertility card this doesn't mean that you have to be pregnant this could mean you could get pregnant in the future this also could be a sign that if doctors have told you you know you ain't gonna have no baby you could possibly have one and this is also saying that you birthing in a whole new beginning for yourself scorpio something new something exciting all right something that's gonna give you a lot of independence when you're thinking about it and spirit is saying do that because as you think and you imagine things that is how you crystallize it on the material plane in the 3d all right and whoever the fuck you was fucking with was draining you killing your energy killing your future for real you got to be careful scorpio what the fuck okay so some of you scorpios want a new home 
okay? So the contract is going to come through on this new home. You know what I'm saying? And everything is going to work out for you. You're birthing in a new beginning. And this new beginning has something to do with you moving, buying a house, okay? Or it has something to do with you, like, moving to this condo or this apartment that you want to move to. Scorpio, Spirit is saying you finna get that, okay? Now, also, this is saying that a lot of you guys are about to get a new home. And you're going to have a new baby in this new home with this person. And you could be having a blended family as well, okay? So, Scorpio, just know, like, if you out here, you know what I'm saying? And you want it, he, shit, you about to get, you start looking, okay? Even if you don't see it, start looking for the house that you want, Scorpio, okay? Or this could be your person, all right? So this person, or this is you, Scorpio, you were thinking about putting protection against someone who was very independent, or your person could have put protection around themselves because they felt like, you know, you was a threat, okay? Now, this person also could have ended up, could have, like, wanted a new beginning with you wanted to have a house with you you know maybe they were imagining it and they had to block themselves from these imaginations here because with the ten in reverse somebody already had a ten of cups you know what i'm saying but it just wasn't the right cup you know what i'm saying and they kept investing in that cup as well and this could be a situation where someone has a whole house with somebody all right this could be a situation where someone uh wanted to move towards you scorpio and they recently got somebody pregnant all right somebody that they live with in current time all right and they protected their self against you when in actuality you were the one that was independent i-n-d-e-p-e-n-d-e-n-t do you know what that means scorpio got their own shit they got their own house okay but some of you guys didn't have your own house when this shit was going down okay and they don't even know that you finna get this big ass house some of you guys y'all was fucking with somebody investing your energy into somebody who wasn't even on your motherfucking level so spirit didn't give you a lot of things until this person got the fuck out your way deja vu y'all i seen the same spread in my head this is crazy okay and then as soon as this motherfucker left your life, you got your own house. You got your own job. Work hard. Two jobs. You a bad bro. Okay? So everything just started birthing in anew once you got rid of this dead weight. And spirit is saying, baby, this was protection. You had to do it like this, Scorpio. Okay? But you didn't see that. You kept trying to reinvest in some energy that was flugazy as fuck. Okay? Now, this is dope. Okay? So, yeah. Some of you guys got psychic abilities too, Scorpio. So if you out here like, damn, Ashley, only one who can see the future? Hell nah okay so everybody can see it all right your third eye could be starting to open you could be feeling certain ways when you're going places scorpio like damn did i just feel like you know did they just say that or did that you know yeah that's happening okay your third eye is opening you're starting to feel people's emotions and stuff. Now, I'm going to share something deep with y'all because I love y'all Scorpios. But this is real. And believe, please believe me when I say this has nothing to do with me because y'all already know I love myself, okay? So sometimes when you have soul ties with people, right? Okay, so soul ties, you got to do sort soul cuttings, okay? But it, it was a sad night for me last night because I feel like somebody, one of my exes, I don't know which one because I've never really done my proper court cutting try to take their life or they're trying to commit suicide okay and this is somebody that i laid with so this showed up on my skin last night right and it looks like a blade cut to be real with you um but it's already healed like literally last night i wish i saw y'all yesterday so y'all could see my hand was completely just like this when i went out i had all my little jewelry on was looking cute and then i woke up with this slit and it, it's it's two attempts okay so maybe somebody one of my exes are trying to off their self or do something um and they just made me feel so sad you know so i just sent that prayer out hopefully it's not my divine masculine like i don't know what the fuck is going on but pray to god that it's not him or he's not feeling that way but sometimes you may wake up um with scratches on your bodies and bruised on your body and you don't know where the fuck it came from and that has a lot to do with like your twin and it has something to do with soul cutting and people that you may have laid with in the past and stuff that they're doing to themselves so please just do energy cleansing i'm going to do soul cutting today because that's just heavy i don't know which one per what person it is and that's one of the reasons why i don't sleep around and stuff because i can't energetically i cannot it's just you know people just be dealing with a lot and they don't tell you okay so scorpio as these psychic abilities come online just know that you need to trust yourself and if you ever feel the need to reach out to somebody and say hey i just want to check on you make sure you are okay make sure everything is good do that it don't mean you want to be with them just reach out okay i'm not going to reach out but i am going to just do an energetic cleansing just to make sure everybody's okay and this is not the first time so i just want to let you guys know if you do wake up with bruises on you and stuff like that and and when you feel this if you could feel me there's no hurt here 
this is no hurt like it's just showing up on my skin and this is not the first time like it's crazy you know and maybe that person is bloody over there or something it's healed on my end it's crazy but this stuff is really true I think there was like a movie where it was like the butterfly fucking and that showed up but this shit is not a lie this shit is in real life okay so Scorpio just know that um you're gonna have some psychic abilities and trust that prosperity is coming to you all right you may think some of this stuff is just crazy with trust and reversed out here or maybe somebody could not have believed the things that you said and they're like wow what's going on you know they didn't believe in you scorpio and you could be just out here thriving you know you could be very prosperous you could be very successful and somebody couldn't believe that you you know they didn't believe in you okay and spirit always brings his kids to the light like people could be rich one day and gone the other day but when you really have wealth it's a state steady building it's something that you build over time okay and spirit is not going to take it away from you they're gonna make sure you have an empire all right scorpio okay so i just wanted to share that with you guys okay so with inspiration out here oh lord inspiration in reverse somebody could have felt like you're not an inspiration somebody could feel like you're very flugazy or you don't have psychic ability with inspiration coming on our psychic ability somebody could be out here saying that you fake you phony you're not real damn okay and this could have been somebody who was daydreaming about you okay sideways so scorpio you could have somebody out here um who can't get you off of their mind they attracted to you they constantly thinking of you being with you romantically all right so somebody got you on their brain and whoever this person is this is somebody who knows that you have some psychic abilities and they could have been telling people that you're not intuitive that you're a liar okay and now they daydreaming about you thinking about you fantasizing about you Okay. Yes, yeah, Scorpio. All right. So they could be thinking about how you're very independent and they walked away from you. All right. And now they're dreaming about you. All right. Um, they could have also gotten somebody else pregnant. They could be building a house with somebody else and they can't really get you off of their mind, Scorpio, which is crazy, you know. Um, and they really feel like you're very independent. Okay. And they could have just, I'm hearing, I just walked out of heaven. I just feel like I damn near threw my life away. All right. I, I can't hear all the tune, but somebody feel like they just walked out of heaven. They damn near threw their life away. Okay. And Scorpio, this could be you. You know, you could be walking away and they could be thinking about why you walking away. Okay. You could have put, you could have dang. Okay. So look. All right. So Scorpio, somebody could be thinking about how they never told you the truth. Okay. Um, the truth has been revealed or will be revealed. Uh, this situation soon secrets will back be oh hold on. So soon secrets will that have been kept will come out. So Scorpio, you remember earlier I was talking to you about how somebody, right, was realizing some shit like coming to an epiphany that's like something don't make sense, something don't act right. So Scorpio, that's literally happening. Somebody is sitting here saying something don't make sense something does not make sense so somebody is thinking about how two things don't match or something is just not right okay um damn all right so somebody could be finding out some shit somebody could have wore some red heels recently too i don't know why but i'm just seeing red heels all right uh communicate clearly in reverse so somebody did not communicate clearly to a psychic that shit is all the way in reverse so if you have intuitive gifts you feel like you're very spiritual somebody did not communicate with you clearly all right and that's about to be revealed to them like they whatever was told like i feel like there was some gossip let me see all right spirit what was told what was told about this scorpio what was said about this scorpio okay why did they say this scorpio was not inspirational Spirit, I need to know what's going on with this Scorpio. What's going on with this Scorpio? Okay, so... All right, so this has something to do with your hobbies, what you do for an interest and leisure activity, what one does for entertainment. Okay, so somebody could be like, okay, this makes sense. So somebody, Scorpio, was like, oh, okay, you psychic, you intuitive or whatever. Bitch, you do that for entertainment. You know what I'm saying? That's some kind of dumbass hobby that you do. That's not no real shit, okay? Somebody could have been talking shit about you like, oh, you don't have psychic abilities. You can't see shit. You're not having dreams. You don't have premonitions. That shit flew gazy, Okay. Somebody could be saying all this shit about you, all right? It even could be a mother who said this shit about you, okay? But the thing is, this person who love you or care about you or who's in this family situation who might have somebody else pregnant or this could be you, Scorpio, you daydreaming about having... This person is daydreaming about being independent. This person don't want to be in even in this family dynamic here, okay? And also with this eavesdropping people time, looking over your shoulder, listening to your private conversations. When I tell you, Scorpio, you could be doing something 
where you're helping a large amount of people, okay? And some people look at this as some kind of hobby that you have, but you really are helping these people. And whoever this person is that's daydreaming about you, thinking about you, that put protection around you, and maybe even walked away from your ass, they did not communicate with you clearly, okay? But a lot of shit is about to be revealed to this person straight up, okay? In the 5D. So this nigga gonna have a whole bunch of epiphanies, or this female gonna have a whole bunch of epiphanies, all right? Because some of you... You know, this is not a lover's connection, okay? But that's a large, a, a short percent, like 4% of you. This is about a friendship. But for others of you, this is about a lover's connection here, okay? Now, this person is eavesdropping. They watching everything you do. So if you doing anything, you watching anything. And if you do tarot card readings, they're watching everything, okay? Now, this person that's eavesdropping, this shit is in the upright. So I feel like this person here is somebody that your person is either married to in a relationship with, or this is somebody's parent or mom or old man or an older woman or it's a lot of these people okay because i'm seeing a lot of people one of these people could be caucasian another one of these people could be an african-american and one person is a latino person okay or a latino descent or they have latino people in their family or they mixed in with latinos i don't know okay i'm just telling you what i see and there's just a lot of eavesdropping listening private conversations they're listening to something and they're talking about it this is something that people do when they lose your time okay now they feel like it's entertainment but this is not entertainment this is literally people's lives okay and somebody is just daydreaming about you somebody is daydreaming about being independent they don't want to be in this relationship no more they're thinking about walking the fuck away Way, okay they think about how they're gonna have protection against somebody that they have a household with and they even could have protection against somebody that got somebody pregnant okay now somebody is thinking about how they did not have clear communication with a psychic too so if you're a tarot card reader this is some shit in here for you okay yeah this person was a spiritual hater okay i told you if you're a tarot card reader the card fell out oh lord right under the deck okay so this is about someone who is a tarot card reader all of you guys are not tarot card readers but you could be spiritual you could be about crystals you could be a reiki healer okay this could be a spiritual person hating on another spiritual person thinking that spiritual when this person you know th that's what i'm talking about y'all okay because this is getting complicated like a motherfucker there is a spiritual person here right who claims they're spiritual then you got another person person over here who says they're spiritual right but if you got a person who's talking shit about another spiritual person that person is the fake person spiritual people don't talk shit about other people because they know that's black magic okay so we got a spiritual hater here hating on your beliefs not liking that you are um uh, untraditional, uncomfortable with your spirituality. So somebody don't like that you rock crystals. Somebody don't like that you a Reiki healer. Somebody don't like that you a tarot card reader. Somebody don't like that, you know, you feel like tourmaline blocks you from negative energy. You know, somebody don't like that you burn a sage. And let me tell you something about sage, y'all. Anytime you burn sage and somebody comes around you and they're like, oh, what's that? It stank. They have a lot of demon and entities on them. That's why I stink like that. Other people, when you burn sage, it's different. It smells different, but they don't be like, oh, it's irritating them. They got to leave. If they got to get up out of there, I'm telling you, they got entities on their motherfucking ass, okay? So for some of you guys, you had a friend and you and this friend was very spiritual. Y'all had a real spiritual connection. All right. And maybe both of you guys wanted to move or you wanted to birth in a new beginning. But now this person is just watching you. They're eavesdropping on you, eavesdropping on you. OK, you could be a psychic or tarot card reader. They could come to your page and look at that shit. They could feel like you're not an inspiration. OK, and they could be eavesdropping on you because they are mad about their independence. They they're they're dream, they dreaming of how y'all could have worked together or built something. This is four percent of y'all this is about a friend you used to hang out with this bitch or this nigga used to kill with the, chill with them vibe with them you had hobbies with them you just used to kick it with your leisure time with them but score but you were like fuck this bitch or fuck this nigga because i can't fuck with them you could you realize you could do everything on your own and now you're daydreaming about how you're gonna have all these new beginnings scorpio this is bomb and this is a spiritual hater this bitch could put her hair in a ponytail often or this nigga could have like really good hair he could be puerto rican or something or mexican descent and he could put his hair in a ponytail but he a spiritual hater he hate on your ass okay and he's hating on your trans transformation okay take it as it resonates okay some of you guys this this person is bisexual all right for some of you guys this person who is hating off you scorpio is bisexual this is two women so it's either two men situation or a two woman situation but it has been revealed okay through a spiritual person that this is this person is bisexual okay it has been revealed this person do like men or they do like women and this is a secret to you and this could be one of the reasons that you walked away from this situation this bisexual part is not for everyone okay now the other card that came out um is um 
lies and deceits, but I don't see it no more right here. So I'm just going to let it go. But there was a lot of gossiping, talking shit about you. Okay. But it has been revealed. Okay. So for some of you guys, it does resonate. For some of you guys, it don't. The bisexual part, if it doesn't resonate, do not take it. But if you ever have the question like, oh, I think he might be, or oh, I think she might be. If you ever have that, that's because spirit is telling you that's true. Because somebody who's not, you won't even have that inclination. Okay. All right, Scorpio. All right. So spirit is saying, you know, you got the courage, you got the juice. OK, you got the confidence or somebody is getting the confidence or the courage or the. OK, Scorpio. So somebody is building up the courage and the confidence to come and talk to you. OK, even though they did not support you on whatever intuitive spiritual awakening you have, they, it has been realized to them that they should have support you. This person could be seeing a lot of four, four, fours. OK. And this person, you was generous with this person, all right? This person also feels like they can build wealth with you or they could be very successful with you, okay? This also could mean you have a person coming into your life, Scorpio. This person could be bisexual or they could be gay. They could be your friend. This could be a feminine energy or a masculine energy. And you and this person could be really cool, all right? Now, this person also could have not been supported by outside energy, but they, you and this person could be friends or you and this person could be having a, a, a future together, not a family, but just like a tribe. And this person could be very wealthy. You and this person could make a lot of money and you and this person could be very generous too, okay? So maybe you might have a homegirl she could be bisexual she could have a little very low haircut here and you're really cool with her all right she may not have supported your spiritual journey but now she is you know she realizing that she loves you and she wants to help you okay or she was in a situation that she was unsupported and you were spiritual to her and you helped her and y'all are going to have a lot of money and you and this person have a really good heart and y'all are generous okay for others of you guys this is a lover's connection okay and they are coming towards you all right they realize that you know they really thought that what you was doing or whatever was not of god or something you know it wasn't pure it wasn't healthy it was toxic or something and it was been revealed to them that that's not true they should have supported you anyway and they should have learned okay they also feel like that you're on the cusp of success okay this person feels like scorpio you about to get the check you about to get the bag and they feel like they could work with you they could team up with you they could be friends with you they want to work with you they want some kind of partnership okay they also want a sacred union too between two souls because they feel like they're going to be very wealthy with you and they feel like you're very generous like you give to a lot of people and they really see that okay but all i really see is that bitch you finna get a house because that matter bitch you finna birth in a new beginning and bitch that check looks solid as fuck